What if Space Marines fought for Krieg? This chapter of Space Marines is called the Imperial Corps of Krieg and they are an Imperial Fist's successor chapter with their aspirants drawn from the planet of Krieg. This army includes a converted Primaris Ancient and a Primaris Captain, which we'll get onto a bit later. This whole project has been painted by Stacey, one of the team members here at Siege. So to start with this army, we're going to look at the heavy hitting units and some fast attack units. We've got in the backfield two gladiator tanks, absolutely love the gladiator, two different weapon loadouts on these. We've got LAS cannons and also we've got the Gatling weapons. We've got a Redemptor Dreadnought. Our dreadnoughts are iconic for 40k and the Redemptor does not disappoint at all whatsoever. We've then got an Impulsor to ferry around the vast swathe of infantry that this army has got. And then we've got three ATVs to nip around the board and cause some trouble for our clients' opponents. So following all those heavy hitting units in this army, we have a vast swathe of infantry, as I've mentioned, and there's loads to go through here. Um, firstly, what Primaris force would not be complete without some intercessors? And we've got a load of them. Uh, I'm going to pick up one of my favourite models from the intercessors, which is this sergeant. Um, and uh, having a power fist to uh, to get up close and personal is something which, uh, which every sergeant should be toting. Uh, this guy looks about like he's about to swing it, which is great. Uh, but again, really, really awesome set of models, the Intercessors. Probably my favourite 40k uh, miniature, uh, just because you can add so much to it. We've then got a load of Aggressors, and there's two sets of three flanking here. And again, do love the Aggressors with the, the load of uh, firepower that they do really have, obviously, with those gauntlet bolt weapons. Uh, again, love, love this advancing pose here on this one, as if he's just gunned someone down or gunned an enemy down. Uh, but that's just the, uh, the Aggressors. Um, next, we've got a load of Hell Blasters in this force. Again, toting loads of uh, fiery plasma or hot plasma. Um, and then to back up that with even some, some more heat, we've got uh, a load of eradicators in this force. Uh, and again, really awesome models, uh, toting the, uh, the melter rifles that they've got and just in that heavier sort of gravis armor. So that's these awesome eradicators. Um, and then to finish up the, the infantry section, we've got a really cool squad of reavers again just with the grab veins here so they can just jump in and cause some havoc on the back lines for our for our client uh, but again really awesome and i do love the uh, the foregrip on the bolt guns as well it's just a nice little uh, touch there which i think is a nice little detail and then to add to the sort of like striking part of this force you can probably see there's quite a few inceptors in this army now our client has opted to have them magnetized so you can literally just switch out the uh, the the weapons and they are all fully magged so that you can change between the plasma and the uh, the heavy bolters uh, but I'll put the plasma back on. But again, we've used the orange just to contrast that green of the armor really well uh, for all the plasma in this force. But you've got a whole load of inceptors to just jump down and cause some trouble for our clients' opponents. So every force needs uh, a command section. And again, this army does not disappoint at all whatsoever. We've got a whole load of characters for this force, including a converted uh, banner bearer or, or ancient. We've also got uh, a couple of really iconic Primaris character models. What what Primaris army would not be complete without a lieutenant? And we've got this awesome lieutenant with his sword aloft there, as you can see, and a very stomach imperial kind of pose, which is just awesome. Uh, probably one of my favorite lieutenant models, I think. Uh, and then we've got uh, a tech marine. Again, really nice use of a contrasting red tone as well, or red color against the green. Uh, still with that green pad, as you, you'll see on this uh, on this chap. But again, do love the uh, Primaris Tech Marine, that advancing pose that he's got with that massive uh, forge axe, as you can see there, and the shoulder mounted bolter as well, which is just a really nice little detail. Uh, so that's the uh, the Primaris uh, Tech Marine. We then got a, 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 an Apothecary in this force, and we've got a couple of other models which are really cool. The Reaver Lieutenant is awesome as well, just that really sort of aggressive, angular attacking pose, which I do really love. Uh, so that's just this, uh, this Reaver Lieutenant. As mentioned, this force has got uh, a converted uh, Primus Ancient or Banner Bearer, uh, and our client requested having a Cadian flag uh, used on this on this project, just so it ties that Kree kind of lineage quite well. Uh, and as you can see here, he's just wielding this flag here, or this banner double double handed, which is really cool. Obviously painted in those colours as well to cut, to match the rest of the army, that red and green uh, complementary split, which is just lovely. Uh, so that's this uh, converted Primaris Ancient. And then one of the most probably iconic sort of like visages from 40k, I think, is uh, is a chaplain. Uh, and what force would not be complete without a Primaris chaplain just to, to make sure all the brothers are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, so that's this, this really, really stunning, stunning chaplain that we've painted for our client. And to uh, add to the vast complement of characters that the force has got. Now, every army needs a leader. And this one also has a very cool leader. We've got the Primaris captain leading the force here. Uh, again, really nice model from the Games Workshop range of Warhammer 40,000. Uh, this Primaris Captain in that stoic and sword aloft pose. 
uh, that dates right back to second edition when you've got loads of characters with raised swords. Um, and again, this awesome character just leading the force here, this Primaris captain. I uh, do love the use of sort of like the script on the sort of gun, uh, on the scroll on the gun, all the purity seals, all the dials and screens and everything fully painted and picked out as you'd expect with us here at Siege. And that is the captain that, that leads the this Imperial Corps of Krieg uh, army. I do hope you liked it ever so much. Thank you for watching the video. If you're interested in an army or a commission with us, please head to the website, which is linked in the description of this video. And finally, it would really help us out if you can like and subscribe to the Siege YouTube channel. Thanks ever so much from all of us here at Siege. Take care and I'll see you very soon on the next one.